Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can display your PC system time in your game in Unity. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload to this channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So it's actually real, real simple to display your time within Unity, and it can be quite useful in many different ways. For example, if you want to display a more realistic kind of feel, and a connection to the real world in your game for whatever reason, or if you've got something time-based in your game or anything like that. Uh, so it's done via a C-sharp script, but we do need to set up a couple of things within the scene if you wish to display it. So firstly, let's go to Game Object, let's go to UI, and let's go to Text. Uh, I'm going to have this text dead center of the screen. Uh, I'm going to have it quite large, so let's say, I don't know, 50 for now. Uh, let's have it white so we're able to see it. Uh, probably need to increase the size. So let's increase the width to 500, height to 300, uh, just so we're able to see it on the screen. Uh, I actually have some post-processing on, so that's why it looks a little bit crazy right now. Uh, let's move it back into the middle of the scene using the rect tool. Obviously, you're only doing this if you want to display the time. Let's have it in the middle, like so. So let's display this with our C-sharp script. So let's right click, create, and go to C Sharp Script. Display time. And let's open it up in Visual Studio. So because we're going to be using a UI element, we have to declare that in our namespace at the top. Remember, we need that namespace because Unity, well, the script needs to realize that it's dealing with that kind of thing within Unity. So using Unity Engine.UI semicolon. So I'm going to do this in void start just for now, but I'm not going to get rid of void update. So what we need to do in here is, well, firstly, we actually need to declare some, a couple of variables, I should say, shouldn't I? Uh, so the first variable is going to be that UI element that we've just created. So public game object, the display semicolon. And next we'll need to have an integer. So public int and this is going to be for the hour. So let's have hour, semicolon. Same for minutes. So public int minutes. Um, public int seconds, if indeed you do want to go down to seconds. Now to do this, we need to have hour equals system dot date time dot now dot hour semicolon and that will bring in whatever the system time is for hour into our variable right here and we can repeat that and change it to minutes and have that as minute and finally the same will apply for seconds so we change now dot second and finally, we need to display that. So we're going to have the display dot get component and in spiky brackets text open close bracket dot text equals uh, double quote there, basically because we're telling it, you know, we just need to put this here because this is going to be a text. We don't want you to get confused thinking this is a number and then throw out uh, an error. So we have the double quote there plus and then our. Plus, I'm going to have, in quotes, a colon. Obviously, because that's how we display time. We can see down here my system clock currently says 1840. Obviously, if you're working with a 12-hour clock, it will be a little bit different. But because my clock is 24-hour, that's why it's going to display like that. Uh, obviously, another colon. And then it should be minutes there, shouldn't it? We don't have two colons. That'd be, that'd be silly. Plus, and then finally seconds semicolon and save the script so just to kind of recap what we've done here we have a couple of uh, integers to say accept the hour accept the minutes accept the time and then we accept those from the system right here and then we display them so we're displaying some text followed by the hour followed by a colon followed by minutes followed by another colon followed by seconds so head back into Unity, 
And then you'll need to attach that script to an object within your scene. It doesn't need to be a new object, it could be any object, but for all intents and purposes, I'm going to create an empty one. Drag and drop. And then just find that variable in there. So now when we press play, we should see the system time on our screen. Perfect. And it really is. So there is the system time for my PC on the screen. Now, because we only have this in start, that's why it's not constantly updating. So theoretically, and I do say the word theoretically, you could move this into void update, get rid of anything in void start, save it, and go back into Unity and press play. Now, the problem you have here is this is constantly looking at the system time. And this is probably not going to be uh, a fantastic way of doing it. In a small scale game, not a problem. But when you're in a large scale game and you're looking at ways to kind of uh, cap any resource issues or any problems whatsoever, this may not necessarily be the best way to do it. You should only try and call the time when it's needed rather than use it in update. But either way, we can see a live system time right here. See guys, I told you that was easy. Just a couple of lines of code and that's all it takes. So guys, hope that's helpful. I uh, hope it's useful for you in some way or another. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.